Well, after 4.3's whirlwind of geometry node newness, 4.4's updates are tighter and neater, focusing mostly on the little big things we use every day. But there are some new nodes, the first of which is Find in String. With this node, we can now search a string for another string, finding the index of the first occurrence. It also outputs a count of the number of times that that string occurs. This means we can now split strings in much more advanced ways. Useful for when we are creating text geometry, but also for using strings as an input method for geometry nodes. Next, it's the normal input node, which now outputs proper face corner normals instead of just face normals like it did before. So yes, this is the new normal. But you can turn the old functionality back on in the sidebar, and old files will automatically have this switched on. Oh, and node widths now snap if you're snapping, which is not only great for keeping things tidy, but surprisingly good for stress too. This is one of 4.4's minor but mighty quality of life improvements. Some nodes are now showing us more information than they did before by graying out all the inputs that don't affect the output. And conversely, we can now see a lot less if we want to, because group panels can be nested, helping us focus on only the things we want to change. The constant input node family is already relatively large, but up until now, a couple of members have been missing. So the arrival of the object and collection input nodes has been welcomed with open arms. These, like their longer standing siblings, are unassuming but incredibly convenient, allowing the same object or collection to be used by multiple nodes at once. Next, we have the warning node, which now has a dynamic label depending on the warning, warning you which warning it's warning you of. And the limit surface option from the subdivision surface modifier is now available on the subdivision surface node, allowing us to place our vertices at their theoretical position on an infinitely subdivided mesh. Both the Join and Realize Instances nodes no longer remove the vertex groups of attributes. Instead, they have both agreed that they will preserve and respect an attribute's vertex group status. And finally, we come to performance improvements, the contenders this time being Sort Elements and the Triangulate node. Sort Elements is an impressive 50% faster in common scenarios. But the cup goes to triangulate, which having been ported from B mesh to mesh, now gives a 30 to 100 times performance improvement. You beauty. And that is what's new with geometry nodes in Blender 4.4. Think of it this way. If geometry nodes were a house party, Blender 4.4 is the guy making everyone burritos at 3am.